those are the elephant tusks just to show we are in Mombasa so thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos if this is your first time to bump into this channel kindly consider to subscribe like and also share we start the drive at the famous Nyali Bridge in Mombasa County 001 and we are going to go all the way to Likoni Ferry and remember I'm using a public service vehicle so you do the video as they go you know the route they go to that is where you're going to do you know your video so the previous video ended at a place called Congo Ware. Now something new in Mombasa, rather something new in this video, if you can see right ahead, you can see there's a construction, there are some nice houses that are under construction. So this is at a place called Buxton in Mombasa. So this route, we are going to go with it all the way to Likoni Ferry. And as I said, you know, you go as the Matatu route or rather the public service route. And I'm so lucky today, you know, the roads were so clear, the skies were so clear, it's not rainy, or rather it wasn't rainy at this moment. So I got so lucky, but again, I'm sorry for... You know, the screen of the matatu was a bit dirty, but what do you do? I wanted to have a video, yeah? So this is Mombasa County, you know, for you who've been to Mombasa and you've used matatu, I know you can relate all this. And remember, if you are in a Mombasa, you can definitely use the public service vehicles, popularly known as matatu the one you're seeing right ahead you can also use the tuk-tuks actually there are so many tuk-tuks around you can see them there's so many of them and also you can use border border rides so we continue to proceed to town yeah because i know we are going to you know to different places some of the places i've got no idea of the name but I'll tell you if I come to know of a place, but I like, okay, I don't know what to say about Mombasa. There's something good about it. I think it's clean. <laughs> you know, the island itself as compared to where I'm coming from. You know, in my previous video, you go to that video, you'll be, what? And remember that area, it's a Nyali constituency that is under... Mohammed Ali, he is the member of parliament for that area, but this one is a different place. So we are now in the CBD. This is County 001. The place looks nice. I like the beautification, and then I just like the idea of having the blue and white. But again, I've come to realize, you know, things are changing. You can see like that house there has a different color in it. And I was asking somebody who was like, okay, you know, Mobasa being a hot place. So the only paint you can have on your building, it's, it's white. Because you do the other colors, you know, it fades, it fades pretty fast. And this one, it's... I don't know, for painters, you can tell us whether it is cheaper to paint using white, white or what. I just don't know. But, you know, just to have a uniform of everything. Remember, this is an island. So, if you know why the white and blue, please leave your thought in the comment below. Let us know more. Because as we travel, it is not that we know much. We travel for adventure and we travel to do what to learn so if you know please let us know why the white and blue colors in mombasa county 001 i'm telling you right now it's not that hot in mombasa neither is it too cold it's just somewhere there you know but the funny thing about mombasa you know it can be hot one minute and the next minute, you know, it's raining. So you just have to be pretty careful. 
<laughs> work at least prepared but for Mombasa people you know they used to it they don't do sweaters they don't do Nairobi jackets and all that that is just for Mombasa people before then it was moved to Nairobi Kanairo <laughs> as some other people you know call the place Kanairo so many things or rather so many good things coming up this is at a place called poster you can even see on your left there's a post bank somewhere there poster you know it's a place if you send a letter someone will go and pick it from the post office and that is why it is known as poster remember this route it's a route commonly used by public service vehicles i know you would want to see some other sides but you know it is not my wish if it was my wish or i was the one driving you know it could could be a bit different but using a public means you just have to go with the route anyway that's the route i wanted to to see how the matatas come how the matatus come all the way from nyali all the way to Likoni Ferry. And you know, in Mombasa, I haven't seen the number plates. Like in Nairobi, if you want to go to a certain, a certain place, you know, we go through its numbers. Like you go to Nairobi, Ngong. You want to go to Ngong, while in the CBD, triple one. There's also one or two. We got 46, that's in Nairobi. In Mombasa, I haven't seen much of that. What we just hear, it's a bamboo remission. Bamboo remtambo. You know, mtuapa. <laughs> and then the other side, you know, before you enter into the island, you know, we got Mikindani. Migadini, Magongo, Kwajomvu. So those are the names, you know, you'll hear Matatu calling. But if you're that person who expects a number, shock on you. Mombasa, just begin and ask. The best thing with this Matatu is, you know, they'll definitely guide you. And then to tell you another story, you know, the other day I took a Matatu and then, you know, I'm still new here. And anyway, I've not relocated, so I wanted to use the, you know, Bamburi Mutambo. And since there were no much people, I had to get into a uh, Mutuapa vehicle. You know, the conductor somehow convinced me. And then he was to drop me somewhere, Mutambo, you know, Mutambo, the Bamburi cement, and then pay for me to get to an, into another one. So when we go to a place that is at Nyali Mall, City Mall Nyali. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, City Mall Nyali. You know, that is where the guy decided no. Because I had given him a hundred. I was expecting a balance of a change of 30 shillings. So what the guy did, he paid the conductor of the other vehicle 20 bob. And he gave me 30 bob. And I was like, okay, who does that? Because I know if it could have been another one, you could just give him, you know, 30 bob, and that's all. So I realized by the end of the day, instead of paying 100 shillings, I paid 70 shillings. No, I paid, I paid how much? Because he gave the other conductor 30 bob. So I had a balance of 20. Hmm? Yeah, I was still, you know, I was still amazed. So right ahead, I can see some nice apartments. And I think that is, you know, the end of my ride. Because from there, you alight and then walk all the way to the ferry. So thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. If this is your first time to bump into this channel, kindly consider to subscribe, like, and also share. Bye for now. See you in the next.